Hello and welcome to the tutorial about the configuration of the safety functions. This tutorial shows how to configure the safety functions SafeStep1, SafeTorgOff and SafeBrake Control in the FlexiSoft Designer by using the FlexiSoft Motion Control module Mach 1. SafeStep1 ensures a safe and fast stopping of the drive system. To configure the safety functions, we use the function block SafeStop in the Mach 1 logic. In this context, we start in the hardware configuration of the FlexiSoft Designer. There, I've already placed the FlexiSoft system with a CPU3, an XTIO module and the Mach 1 module with a DFS safety encoder. So let's switch to the logic editor of the Mach 1. At first, I'm going to place the function block SafeStop in the configuration area to have a closer look at the in and outputs. From the input motion in, the function block receives all information provided by the encoders. In this context, I want to connect the signals of the safety encoder to the function block safe stop. You can find the encoder under inputs in the cluster mock1 encoders. The input safe stop 1 as well as the input safe stop 2 are able to trigger the relevant safety function. The output enable torque switches off the torque of the drive system. Enable brake switches off the power supply to the mechanical brake. Amplifier off triggers the shutdown of the amplifier, the drive's torque and engages the brake. Stop request triggered the stop ramp of the drive. Slope active shows if a stop ramp is activated. The output status shows if the torque of the drive was shut down because of a forbidden speed or movement. And last but not least, the output reset possible shows if a reset through the optional input reset or safe stop 1 is possible. By double clicking on the function block the configuration menu opens. In the first tab that appears we have the possibility to apply the values which you have defined in the encoder settings before. If no encoder settings have been made you can choose the movement types and set the units for the speed and position values. Let's go further to the next tab Stop Ramps. There I will explain the relevant settings with the help of this graphic. Here we can see the movement of the drive as well as a defined stop ramp when the safe stop 1 is triggered. At first we can define a delay time until start of the ramp. Moreover we can set a speed offset. That's an optional addition to the start of the ramp to prevent it from being exceeded accidentally. Additionally, we can determine the slope of the stop ramps by the parameters speed reduction and duration of speed reduction. In this context, up to 4 ramps can be set. In the next tab Stop Types, we have the possibility to extend the input Safe Stop 1A with the optional input Safe Stop 1B. Because this video is about the safety function Safe Stop 1, we can disable the inputs for Safe Stop 2. Here we can set an off delay for the output enable brake as well as an off delay for enable torque. In the next step I will explain the safe step 1 with the following graphic. There we can see the movement function, a stop ramp and the outputs ramp active, amplifier off, enable brake and enable torque. When the input safe step 1 goes slow then the safety function safe step 1 is triggered. Now the output ramp active goes high and the delay time until start of the ramp begins. According to that the speed of the drive is decelerated by the machine control and constantly compared with the current speed limit of the stop ramp. After finalizing the stop ramp and reaching standstill speed the outputs amplifier off and enable brake are going low. At the same time the safety function safe brake control is activated. This function permits the safe control of a holding brake. After that the output enable torque is going low. For this reason the safety function safe torque off is activated. This function ensures that no torque generating energy can be applied to an engine. Additionally an unwanted start of the machine is prevented. As you can see there, the off delay from enable torque is typically set greater than the off delay from enable brake. 
For this reason, the torque is cut off only after the brake is closed. This is useful for vertical applications that involve heavy loads. There, the torque is required to maintain the vertical position so that the weight of the load does not cause the axis to move till the brake is closed. Let's pass over to the last tab, Standstill Monitoring. There, we can define up to what speed standstill is detected. The optional setting Position Tolerance is not relevant for the safe step 1. Moreover, we can determine a speed filter, which defines the maximum distance that the drive is allowed to travel despite exceeding the maximum permitted speed. This function will be explained in the following graphic. There, you can see the movement of the drive, the stop ramp and the defined maximum distance for speed filter. At these points, the drive is moving in a forbidden speed. In this case, we calculate the additional position movement the drive is making in the forbidden area. Because it didn't exceed the maximum distance, there is no reason for shutting down the torque of the drive. If the maximum distance is exceeded, as you can see there, then the drive has moved two long distances while driving in a forbidden speed. For that reason, the torque of the drive is shut down and the output status goes low because an error was detected. That's it so far for the first tutorial. You learned how to configure the safety functions Safe Stop 1, Safe Torque Off and Safe Brake Control in the FlexiSoft Designer. In the next episode, we're going to take a look at the configuration of the safety functions Safe Stop 2 and Safe Operating Stop.